this is Dan with another episode of my cooking videos. I learned my cooking skills from a great Chinese chef in a restaurant on Park Avenue, New York City, many, many years ago when I was a student. In my videos, I want to teach the correct basic principles of Chinese cooking because cooking Chinese foods is like playing tennis, basketball, or golf. You cannot do it well until you have learned the correct basic moves. Just pouring soy sauce over chopped meat and vegetables and stir fry them in a wok is not really Chinese food. I will show you how to cook Chinese food like what you get in an expensive Chinese restaurant. And you don't need to have a professional grade Chinese kitchen like the one shown here. In this episode, I will show you how to make the famous Taiwanese beef noodles. Every one of my Taiwanese friends says that their mother or father makes the best Taiwanese noodles in the world. The truth of the matter is that aside from the basic ingredients, each family adds their own secret spices or ingredients to the beef noodles to make them unique. I will show you the basic ingredients and then I will show you my own secret ingredients. Once you have learned the basics, you can jazz it up with your own secret ingredients. Soon you will be able to make your own very best Taiwanese beef noodles in the world. Let's get started. We start with the beef shanks. Beef shanks is a cut of beef that's at the upper part of the legs of the cow. This is not a typical cut you can get from Kroger's or any one of the typical supermarkets in the United States or Canada. But if you go to a butcher's shop, they will know what the beef shank is. It's a nice cut of beef and it's perfect for making beef noodles. First, this is the secret, one of the secrets. You soak it in a pot of water, room temperature, for about 20 to 30 minutes. That'll drain the blood from the meat. And then after that, pour out the water, add in fresh water before you start cooking. In this case, I'm just using the inner stainless steel pot from the instant pot that I'm going to use later. Then you have to add in soy sauce. There are two types of soy sauces I'm going to use. The dark soy sauce, which is not very common. You can buy this from a Chinese grocery store and the light soy sauce that you can probably buy from a large supermarket. I will provide my recommendations for the soy sauces below that you can most likely buy from amazon.com. And then there's a very important basic ingredient, which is a star anise. It's a Chinese spice. I'm pretty sure you cannot get it from a typical supermarket, maybe a gourmet supermarket, but if you go into a Asian grocery store, whether it's Chinese, Japanese, or Korean grocery store, you should be able to get star anise. And if they don't know what you're saying, then you can just show them this picture and then they will immediately know what you're looking for. There's a list of ingredients below this video. Please check it out if you're serious about cooking this beef noodles. And then I will show you my secret ingredients. I add a couple of slices of lemon and then a tomato, some chopped up scallions, and ground cinnamon. Or maybe you can put in half a cinnamon stick. Not too much, just the right amount. And then ground cloves. Now with the ground cloves, it adds a very complex layer of flavor, but you gotta make sure it's not too much. Otherwise it's going to taste bitter. So just a teeny bit of ground cloves. And then a couple of bay leaves. That's very important. It makes it a lot more flavorful. Again, please check out the ingredient list below. Later on, you can add or subtract spices from this list to make it your own recipe. And then there's a very important ingredient that most of the people use for Taiwanese beef noodles, and that's the soybean paste. After adding in all these different spices and ingredients, you will be able to make your beef noodle soup taste very rich and complex and with many layers of flavors. And that's the whole point of making excellent Taiwanese beef noodles. After you put all the ingredients with the beef in the pot, in this case an instant pot, you can cook it on high pressure for 25 minutes. 
or you can use a slow cooker and you need to cook at least for an hour, sometimes even two hours, depending on how soft you want the beef to be. My experience is that the texture of the beef actually is a lot better when I cook it in the pressure cooker, like an instant pot. I'm a big fan of the instant pot. I cook rice with it and all kinds of things with it. And then after it is done, of course, you need to use a fork to test out the firmness of the beef. If it's not soft enough for you, then close the lid and cook for another five to 10 minutes. Make sure you don't overdo it. Otherwise, the beef is going to be mushy and that's no fun. After the beef is cooked, what you want to do is you want to take out the beef and keep it in the refrigerator for at least two or three hours until it's firmed up. Then you can cut it into slices. And if you like the beef to be even more flavorful, you can take out a small amount of the sauce, heat up the small amount of sauce you take out from a big pot, add some more soy sauce to it, or maybe some sesame oil and some pepper, hot pepper, if you want your beef noodles to be spicy. And then after you bring this small pot of sauce to boiling, put the beef in there, turn off the fire, and soak it overnight. You can soak the whole thing in the refrigerator, and the next day when you slice up the beef, you taste it, it's going to be extremely flavorful. If you want a beef to almost taste like beef jerky, except better than beef jerky, you might want to try that. So after you've processed the beef, whether you take it straight out of the Instant Pot or you soak it in enriched sauce overnight and you keep it in the refrigerator for a few hours, then you can slice it up, then you are ready to assemble your beef noodles. Before you put the beef in the noodles and the soup, you should heat up the beef in the soup for a few minutes so that it will have the same temperature as the soup and the noodles. Here I've heated up some small bok choy, which is a very Chinese vegetable that I bought from a Chinese grocery store. I mix it with some olive oil, salt, and garlic powder, and then put it in a big bowl, cover it, and then heat up in the microwave oven for a minute and a half. Let's go to the noodles. I'm using the dry noodles I bought in a Chinese grocery store. You can use any type of pasta if you like Italian style pasta. The Italian style pasta for people to eat that, they like to have it as al dente. That's very chewy, bouncy, and that's fine also if that's what you like. A typical Chinese like the noodle to be not so tough, and, but not all mushy. Especially with these dry noodles, they cook very fast. After the water is brought to boiling, I put the dry noodles in there and I got to take it out within about probably three or four minutes. And still that it has not become too mushy, but it's still a little bit chewy, but not as chewy as the al dente standard for the typical spaghetti. So it all depends on your taste. Use whatever pasta you like. After the noodles are done, then you put in a bowl. You pour in the beef noodle soup from the Instant Pot, add the beef, add a dash of dried pepper to give it a little kick, add the vegetables, and voila, see how beautiful it is. I wish the YouTube video can transmit smell because it certainly smells wonderful. I hope you like this video. Make sure to click the like, subscribe, and notification button if you enjoyed this video. That'll allow you to get notified when I publish my next cooking video. Also, it'll encourage me to make more videos like this in the future. Thank you very much. Bon appetit. You have a wonderful day.